In this video, we will test whether the data in the variable BALK was derived from a normal distribution, and we will test whether the data in the variable D9 was derived from a Poisson distribution. To start with the variable BALK, it represents the amount of alcohol in blood in milligrams per 100 milliliters of blood, and the data was actually derived randomly from a normal distribution with a mean value of 80 and a standard deviation of 2. And we have 160 values in this sample. So to test for normality, we go to STAT, Basic Statistics, and Normality Test. We select the variable BALK, and we can use three possible tests for normality, Anderson, Darling, Ryan Joyner, or the kolmogorov smirnov test, but we will stick with the Anderson-Darling test here, and click OK. Minitab produces these results in the form of a probability plot, but with some data and a test in this smaller window. It calculates the mean of the sample, which turns out to be 79.91, which is very close to the actual population mean of 80 from which it was derived. And similarly, the sample standard deviation of 2.074 is close to the population standard deviation of 2. It calculates the Anderson-Darling statistic and a p-value of 0.414 for the hypothesis test with the null hypothesis that this data was derived from a normal distribution and with a p-value of 0.414, there is no real evidence that the data was derived from anything other than a normal distribution. In addition, this probability plot takes the value of each of the observed values and plots them against their percentage position in a normal distribution, with the diagonal reference line representing the expectation for a true normal distribution. And as we can see, the data values in this sample lie very close to this expected reference line. So both from the numerical test and from the observed plot, it appears that this data was indeed selected from a normal distribution, which confirms what we know about the origin of the data itself. Data D9 gives 50 integer values, and for integer values, we can test for a Poisson distribution. So we will go to Stat, Basic Statistics, Goodness of Fit for Poisson. The variable is the D9, and under Graphs, we will have a bar chart of observed and expected values. And we also see a bar chart of each category's contribution to the chi-squared value. So we can click OK. Under Results, we will display the test results and run the analysis. If we look first at the numerical results, which will be printed in the session window, we can see that the analysis, first of all, calculated the best fit mean value for a Poisson distribution for D9 as being 6.12. It then divides the data range into 10 different categories. And within each category range, it records the number of observed values, but it also calculates the expected number of values within that category range based on a true Poisson distribution with the same mean value as the sample. It then performs a chi-squared test to compare the observed experimental numbers in each category with the expected numbers based on the theoretical distribution. Each cell then has a contribution to the chi-squared value, giving a total chi-squared value of 4.688, from which a p-value can be calculated of 0.790, uh, and this says that we should not reject the null hypothesis that this data was actually selected from a true Poisson distribution. And in terms of the graphs produced, 
and this chart plots for each of the range categories the observed number of values in blue and the expected number of values in brown. So we can compare visually the goodness of fit of the sample data with a true distribution. And the other plot that we have shows the contribution to the chi-squared value from each of the categories. So we can see the biggest uh, discrepancy were at the low end of the frequency ranges. But overall we can accept that the observed data was derived from a Poisson distribution.